Welcome back, guys. The most I said, many of you have the spirit of Paul before he converted and transformed him, which he was Saul then, but now he's Paul, okay? <laughs> but um, he said, many of you have his spirit. You have the, you're zealous in him and you want to spread his word and do his will, but you also have a Pharisee spirit because you are indoctrinated by religion. You've been going to church. You've been learning man's doctrine and not mine, he says. So let's get into this word. First Corinthians chapter 12 verses 25 through 27 states that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it, or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. Just a caution before we get into this word. It's okay to disagree and not put comments in the comment section because I'm going to tell y'all now, the Holy Spirit led me to do this video. It's been on my spirit for quite some time. And now I'm putting this word out because I have to be obedient to my father. I don't concern myself with how people feel about what he tells me to put out. So if you disagree, don't bother putting anything in the comment section, especially if it's going to be degrading, uh, contrary to what the Most High has to say, or anything like that, because we don't need to play around in the comment section, because this is a word that's going out from the Most High, and if you can take it, then you know move accordingly, but if not, just carry on, because you don't have to listen to the video. It's for those that it's for, for those that have open spiritual eyes and ears. All right, so let's move on now that we've done the housekeeping. Schism means a split or division between strongly opposed sections or parties caused by differences in opinion or belief. Okay, division, split, rift, and breach are the synonyms for this word. The most I said, many of his children are caught up in man's doctrine labeled as religion, whether it be Christianity, whether it be Islamism, Presbyterianism, whatever religion you are under, he said it divides his body because we're all on different mindsets, on different levels of understanding. He said oneness is holiness and he wants all of his children to be one with him. John chapter 8 verse 32 states, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Okay. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 states, don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high sounding nonsense that come from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world rather than from Christ. The most I said, many of you have been so indoctrinated with religion that you think that it's me. And he said, it is not me. That is man's doctrine. We have to understand that we are in a time in history where Ears are getting tickled left and right. The most I said, he gave us everything we need in his love letter, which is the Bible. He gave us every play, how to fight against warfare, how to test spirits, and also how to know who's who and what's what by using the gift of the spirit of discernment, which he gave all of us. Psalm chapter 147 verses 19 through 20 states, He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. Now, the Most High has opened up the doors of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of his word to more than just Jacob at this point. The Most High does not want any of us to perish. So he allows us to partake in his riches and glory. If we choose to believe in him, he will allow us to come into the wedding feast. Okay. And that's contrary to what some may believe, but facts are facts. If you read the word, listen to the word, know the word, you know that this is the truth and not what some religious leaders would say it is. But we going to move on into that in a minute. So anyway... All religions, and I know many don't know this, and I know this is going to 
go against what you're used to but i gotta get it out because if the most high if i don't get it out the most high is gonna stay on my spirit until i do or i'm gonna tell y'all what else he'll do if i don't do it he'll give the assignment to somebody else and then i'll be disobedient and i don't feel good about that at all so i got to do what i got to do per the father all right so here you will see all of or not all but some of the religions that have been created and who they were created by none of them were created by the most high okay so just as the religious leaders did back in the day with jesus the religious leaders of today are the same same spirit different people nothing new under the sun the most high wants all of his children to be on one accord he's holy he wants us to be holy we are to live as though we are him we are supposed to live like Christ lives. And when he walked this earth, he did not live under religion. That's why the religious leaders did what they did to him, scoffed him, and even had him unalive. The spirit is the same, but we have to come out of what we're used to. Just because you were born into it does not mean that it's right. Just because you were falsely taught does not mean that it's right and the father wants all of his children to come out now if you're in a non-denominational uh foundation you probably are safe there but yet again i say seek your father because at the end of the day he will let you know that's it guys that's the message i pray that it edified many i pray that i please the father in doing so in the process because this is a touchy subject and people get caught all up in their feelings on these subjects. So anyway, um, if you feel led to sow into the ministry by the Holy Spirit or if you have a prayer request, the information is always in the description box as well as here. And uh, yeah, peace and blessings.